Hi everybody, this is Alexander Litvinenko and in this video I'm going to show you how to use your Docker VPN server together with the iOS mobile client. Uh, in this tutorial I assume that you're already familiar with uh, running your Docker VPN server uh, on your machine, on your VPS or uh, hardware server. So uh, if you're not, then I would recommend you to uh, watch my uh, other video where I explain how to bootstrap your Docker VPN server uh, in detail. Uh, but in this tutorial I assume that you are already familiar with this procedure so um, uh, we're gonna continue uh, with uh, part concerning only uh, using mobile client uh, with uh, Docker VPN server. So first of all let's connect to our remote server uh, via SSH. I'm gonna connect to uh, my API, uh, so my API server, my API host, which I don't use at this moment for any particular purpose, uh, but I definitely plan to do so in the future. So let's connect to our host. Uh, let's make sure no other containers are running which could prevent uh, proper functioning of Docker VPN. There's no containers uh, around at the moment. So uh, let's run our uh, Docker VPN Docker VPN server. Uh, let's go on docovpn.io site. Let's copy this code snippet and uh, let's let's paste it. Let's run it. So our our server has started successfully, and now we're going to move on to the next part in which we're going in which I'm going to show you how to use uh, the generated client certificate on your mobile device with Passport Two Mobile VPN client. So we're going to proceed with Passport Two Mobile VPN client, and the very first thing we're going to do uh, we're going to install it. So let's go to mobile app store and install it straight from there. Yes, here it is. I have had already previously installed it, so now I'm just going to click on this cloud button with the uh, down arrow. Usually this process doesn't take much time. Yeah, we have successfully installed it. And now we are going to open the app. Uh, it asks for some subscription. Well, we're going to get to that point later. Or you're going to decide for yourself whether you need it or not. So for now I'm going to hit this remind me letter button. And... Let's try to connect to our Docker VPN server we uh, bootstrapped a couple of minutes earlier. And now let's go to browser window in order to download our client certificate. So we're going to go to mobile Safari and then we're going to type our uh, host where we started our Docker VPN server. So we're going to type API, in our case it's API docovpn.io and now we're gonna have our uh, client certificate ready let's download it after it gets downloaded let's let's choose the proper place uh, to save it we're gonna save it in uh, we're gonna save it into files into this dedicated folder named docker vpn let's save it into this folder yes it was successfully uh, successfully saved so
so now let's uh, input a client certificate for that we're gonna press this add new host button uh, then we're gonna hit this uh, folder icon and uh, here is our uh, client certificate uh, in our case it is client uh, 7.0 vpn let's try to import it let's rename to be just client then we hit next button uh, in our case we don't need any we don't need to provide any credentials so let's click this uh, done button uh, yeah we see that this the configuration was successfully in, imported um, let's do a quick inspection of what we have here uh, so first of all we have uh, in Conf and the configuration uh, section we have account uh, we see the IP address of our uh, server we see uh, cipher parameters um, we see compression we see other settings so let's try to uh, enable a VPN on uh, this iOS device let's hit this uh, enabled switch and you'll see this prompt asking whether you like to import VPN configuration on uh, this mobile device we are going to allow this operation to take place and uh, we will have to type password uh, we see that the connection uh, started and yeah now uh, VPN connection was successfully established to our server and now we can finally browse the internet safely that was it for this tutorial um, please subscribe to my youtube channel and bye bye for now